Welcome to the Learning Box by Punton Kids. I hope all you babies have been going through the videos and revising everything that we learn here. And today I am here to share with you a new concept and that is sink and float. Come on everyone repeat with me. Sink and float. Who knows what does sink mean? Come on think think think. What does sink mean? Yes, sink means going down to the bottom of the water. What does sink mean? It goes down to the bottom of the water. And what does float mean? Sink. Come on, I'm sure someone will know the meaning of float. Yes, you're right. Float means to stay on top of the water. And do you know what? Sink and float are opposites. Come on, repeat it. They are opposites. Opposites mean when two things are totally different. Okay, like sink and float. So some objects go right down to the bottom and some objects remain on top. So they are totally different. So these are opposites, sink and float. So I have some things here and we are going to put it in the water and we are going to watch if these things sink or they float. So first I am going to pick up a steel spoon. What is this? It is a steel spoon. And let's see what's going to happen. Is it going to sink or is it going to float? Let's see. Oh my god. The spoon sank. Yes. And now I have a plastic spoon. Yes. So let's see what's going to happen to the plastic spoon. The plastic spoon is floating. Do you know why that's happening? Because the steel spoon is heavy and the plastic spoon is light. Okay, now what do we have here? I have a steel fork. What is this? It is a steel fork. Let's try and put it down. Oh my god, there it's gone down. And now I have a plastic fork. Yes, this is a plastic fork. Let's see what's going to happen to this. The plastic fork is also floating because the plastic fork and the plastic spoon are light. And the steel fork and the steel spoon are heavy. So they sink and these two float. Now let's see what else are we going to try. Yeah, we have lots of things here. I have a cute little smiley face and I'm going to put this in and oh my god, my cute smiley face just sank down because it is heavy. And I have a beautiful yellow sunflower. Let's see what's going to happen to this. The sunflower is floating. The sunflower is floating. It's on the top of the water because the sunflower is light. Okay, and what else do we have here? I have a cute smiley sponge ball and I'm going to put that in the water and let's see. It's floating and it's smiling away. And I have a coin, a round coin. Let's see what's going to happen to this. Uh-oh, the coin sank because the coin is heavy. And the sponge smiley ball is floating. Let me try pushing it in. Let's try pushing. Ah! Let's try pushing it in. Is it going to remain here? Will it stay here? Oopsie. It's popping out because it is light. Okay, and now what do we have here? I have a plate. And what happened to the plate? The plate sank because it's heavy. And now watch this. I'm going to show you something very interesting. I'm going to put the bowl and let's see what's going to happen to the bowl. The bowl is floating. The bowl is floating. And now I'm going to fill water in the bowl 
I'm going to fill water in the bowl. Fill, fill. Ah, ah, the bowl went down. See, the bowl also sank. Because when I filled water in the bowl, the bowl became heavy. See, there's water in the bowl, so the bowl became heavy. And so it sank. And when I empty it, it's light. So it floats. So light things float and heavy things sink. And now, let's see what I have here. Abracadabra. Just like you babies, all have a ball. Lena teacher also has a nice big ball which I'm going to put in the water. And it's so big. So I think it's going to sink. What do you think? Oh my God, it's not sinking. It's so big. But it's still not sinking because it is light. It is light and the shape is rounded. So, it's floating. And what do we have here? I have such a tiny stone but the stone is heavy. The stone is heavy. So, let's see what's going to happen to the stone. But it's so small. What's going to happen? It's going to float or sink. Uh, uh, it sank. Yes, because it is heavy. It sank. And the ball is light. So it is floating. Yes. So did we all learn the opposites float and sink today? Yes. Very good. But there are many more reasons for things to float and things to sink. Yes. There is density. There is the shape of the object. All of these make a difference. And things can float and sink because of that. But for you all, my tiny little babies, it's just good to know that light things float and heavy things sink. Yes, I hope you all enjoyed. So please do share, like and subscribe. Bye. See you all soon.